Let me ask you something, Xavier. How many chances have you taken? How many moments in time have you stolen from me? From the fabric of life and time itself? Finally, finally, you'll see why coming here was a big mistake. You will not get away with this. First of all, if you don't understand what's going on in the last skit you just saw, you're gonna have to watch my last two videos to actually understand what's going on. Yo guys, my name is Madstro, for those of you who don't know me already, and today I'm not going to waste any of your time. First of all, I'm doing my first year at university and I'm staying in a very, very, very boring one bedroom apartment. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing this right now, right? You're all seeing this, it's very, bland, very straightforward, everything is, I would say, decently organized. It doesn't have any flavor, it doesn't have any unique attributes to it. More specifically, the desk area where I actually shoot my videos. I need a change, guys, a big change, as a matter of fact. And I don't know if you guys have seen this guy's videos. Nicholas created one of the best YouTube studios I've seen in a while. But there's only one big problem with this. Yes, you guessed it. All of that equipment in that video costs some big bucks, guys. And as a university student, I know most people don't have that type of money. But I know you. You don't make any excuses and you don't allow any issues to be the reason for you not to create something like that or something even better than that. And my goal for this video is to see if I can do that and create my own unique YouTube studio with only 50 pounds. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But with nothing else to say, let's go and see if we can get that done, guys. And honestly, I don't know where to start, right? So first of all, let's go to Nicholas for some advice. Thing actually you should do before you decide on what kind of decor and lights you want to get for yourself. You should first think about what is the best corner in your apartment to actually use it as a backdrop for your video. So as you guys heard from Nicholas, we need a plan and the first step of action is to remove all these plates and all of this other stuff at the top there. Let's see what we can do about that stuff. And then we'll move down below to where my laptop and all my other stuff is. So let's do that right now. This is such an essential item, guys. Tomato sauce mixed with ketchup. What? No, tomato sauce mixed with mayonnaise. Goated, bruh. <laughs> so, all this stuff at the top here is pretty much my groceries my other dry food and stuff that I usually cook. So I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna reorganize it because I have a feeling that the shot and the angle I want to get from uh, my bed, let me show you guys. So I know this is gonna be one of my first angles. Like I'm gonna put the, the tripod stand there, right? Like that spot there. This is gonna be my second angle. Right now the camera is on the desk. And the cool thing about the desk now is that it's wide enough for me to actually move the camera and for me to actually now if I want to do some shots of me doing work here and actually working and doing stuff here 
you can actually see everything here. So that's really cool. So that's sorted out and that's perfect. And the angle and the, the lens that I have is probably not gonna catch the whole top of this half. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna organize this stuff and not throw it away. So let's do that. Am I the only person that just has like a toaster on the on the shelf? Now let me go put this in the kitchen because it does not belong on the shelf for Jack. So that's the shelf done. Finally, it looks way neater. Everything's way more organized. And guys, remember that this is the first time you're changing stuff around. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time when you do it. You still have time to alter things, shift things around and do that stuff. So don't worry about that. In my mouth is a desert Running dry on the tip of my tongue Right now I'm really happy the desk is clean. Uh, shelf is empty pretty much. I have a candle there, I don't know why. The next thing I'll sort out probably towards the end on my post-it notes on my board. I'm gonna have something cool to do with that. So keep in mind our budget is still 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pounds. So I'm gonna put the number up right now. And these lights costed 25 pounds, which honestly is kind of crazy. I saw some for 20 pounds, but they didn't have them. So this is the what? Five meter LED strip. So pretty much you can change the colors with the remote and let's see if these actually work. Bye guys, I am done with the lights and check this out. Bro, are you checking this out, dude? Like completely different. And like the different settings. Well, that's changed like the color of it. Um, wait, let me change it again. So that pretty much does like a half-half color. I can change it to different colors, rainbow. We've got changing rainbow. Pretty much you can also make them go around, strobe like that. Not strobe. Um, different setting of guys it can go all the way around like one time you see how like they like meat do that so cool let me try another setting yeah so it goes like one by one all the way around two there's so many different settings guys like i'm so chick like <laughs> dude i'm so happy with this setup so things are finally starting to come together the lights are up and now for some more goodies for my bag. So pretty much this is like a glowing color changing salt lamp. Pretty sick, right? And this was 20 pounds. Uh, the number on the screen, thank you. Pretty much now we're on like what? Quick mats, quick mats, 45 pounds right now. So we're still in the safe zone. So let's get this unpacked and put it up and see what it looks like. So the rock is pretty cool. I won't lie. It's made from Himalayan salt, which is actually pretty, it's pretty bougie, right? Like I'm doing, I'm doing a good job. I know. Thank you. Anyways, now we're going to set up the shelf on the top and see where everything needs to go. Once again, thank you to my girlfriend for actually helping me put everything together. You're amazing, thank you. So now we have to see if things are going to work. Because the thing is that when you film from your angle, wherever you're filming from, you always want your background not to interfere with you that's actually speaking in front of the camera, right? So we have to fix everything in a way whereby you can actually see me and not too much of the background and actually enjoy the balance between the two. 
So that's what we're working on right now. So pretty much in Nicholas's video, he talked about stuff that's relatable to your niche. Your niche. Your niche. So pretty much for me, I know that what? For my content here, I've got my, my filming, my tripod stand, and that's pretty much it and a bit more stuff. Wait, 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 look how cool this is. Ah, I can't, I can't wait to show you guys this. Let me show you guys. Right now we've reached the 50 pound mark. So, 25 pounds for the lights, 20 pounds for the Himalayan salt lamp, and then it was four pounds for the snow globe and then one pound for the actual tree i'd have to double check but pretty much 50 pounds 51 pounds if the snow globe was actually like five pounds probably we're at 51 pounds which is not too bad and now and now we're missing one item from that whole shelf setup one item one item i couldn't i couldn't help myself guys i couldn't help myself like you have to see this just just few seconds I mean, I mean, dude, how can, how could I not, like, I couldn't resist, and this was about nine pounds, so that brings our total up to some quick mats, yeah, that's our total now, for the whole setup, and honestly, right now, I'm pretty happy with everything, and everything I've done so far, it's pretty much done. Guys, we are finally done. And you know what? I have the biggest grin on my face because I'm so happy at this setup. Like honestly, this is my first ever YouTube setup. Like one where I've actually sat down and I've decided this is what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try and do something that's a bit different and you know that suits me and my room. Because before my room was like just so dull, the background, nothing to it, but I actually put work and I actually tried to make something and I'm so happy with the actual results and the angles and the stuff that I've gotten guys like and guys we only used where's where's the money where's the money we started off with only 50 pounds and you know there are a few things that I would obviously want to change in the future first one being is the light so obviously the ring light is working pretty well decently well I like the way it's lighting my face but it could be way better obviously I understand that so the first thing is the ring light and the placement of it. I'm going to play around with it with the future videos and see if I can figure out uh, a setting or something that's going to make it a bit brighter. We started off with only 50 pounds. This is all 50 pounds, pretty much. Added on with the Joker, which it makes it to like uh, 60 pounds, <laughs> pretty much. So pretty much 60 pounds to create a setup that's like this or even better in your case wherever you're doing your stuff like i'm so happy with this guys i'm really so happy with this got everything to stand out everything is where it should be and wow the cool thing about the the ring light that i have is that you can change the settings different different uh warmths and stuff like that but I'm gonna work on that and hopefully when I get enough money I'll buy a proper soft box so that the light works nicely. The computer, the lamp, it all just it all just works for me. It just works nicely for me. And the shelf, obviously you can't see too much of inside and stuff like that because what my lens is too small. Um, but I'm really happy with how this came out and I'm gonna be upgrading everything soon. I'm really happy with this. Uh, in my journey, my YouTube journey, because this is the first time I've sat down and I've put my head down and said I want to do this and I've done it. And guys, right, work on yourselves. Don't ever think that other people's achievements are comparable to yours, right? Because you're all on different parts, different settings, different backgrounds. Work on yourself and what you want to do and things will eventually work out. I'm telling you right now, at the beginning of this video, I did not think I was going to get anything that was going to work. The angles weren't working, stuff like that. But if you sit down and decide I'm going to do this, you come out with something that's very presentable and very reasonable. And I'm so happy and I thank God for this day. Finally, the Matchstroke fam has an actual YouTube background, like this YouTube studio, pretty much like amazing stuff. I can talk all day about the setup, but long story short, Keep on moving towards your dreams, 
you get there one day guys we move every single day one percent one step at a time so freaking amazing guys everything worked out wow so grateful for that guys thank you first of all to my mom my dad my brother my sister and my girlfriend for helping me with this it's, it really means a lot guys thank you so much love you guys so much wow just really happy with this and with nothing else to say guys the first nothing else to say with the new youtube studio anyways, anyways. with nothing else to say with nothing else to say guys let's go maybe if they took some time to pick my mind to see that i'm cooler than lemons and nice tea uh, yeah. all i want to do is live it up with a home